If you are one of the millions of Americans who had a flight delayed or canceled during the pandemic, you may be getting a check. ABC's Alexis Christophorus with the details. The Department of Transportation ordering six airlines to pay a total of more than $600 million in refunds to customers who had their travel plans canceled or significantly delayed during the pandemic. Money only being given to those passengers still waiting for refunds that have been delayed. Frontier Airlines leads the list of carriers targeted by the DOT. The ultra low cost carrier ordered to pay $222 million in refunds and an additional $2.2 million fine. The the other airlines implicated are TAP Portugal, Air India, Aero Mexico, Israel's El Al, and Colombia's Avianca. In a statement, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg saying in part, a flight cancellation is frustrating enough and you shouldn't also have to haggle or wait months to get your refund. It has been a challenging year for airlines. According to the Bureau of Transportation Statistics, domestic carriers have posted the lowest number of on-time flights and the highest number of delays in eight years. Cancellations are running at the highest rate in a decade. I spent six hundred and like fifty six dollars on a ticket and now I'm still trying to find a way to get home. The DOT saying no fines will be imposed for major U.S. airlines because they ultimately responded more quickly to refund requests. Complaints about airline refunds accounted for about 60 percent of all complaints logged with the DOT last year. Federal officials have since called on airlines to beef up hiring to ease delays and cancellations. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.